out here prospecting a new property. Uh, we call this the Star of the West, and uh, we have some new logging cutting through here, which is good because the old access roads you haven't been able to get up here for a while. Quartz vein cutting through here, and uh, there's a little bit of pyrotization on this quartz vein. This actually looks more like a quartz calcite mix. But there's a little bit of mineralization. Not anything crazy though. The thing that caught my eye was actually this little thing right up here. A little bit of oxidation right there. So just a few samples here. I don't know where these come from. I'm thinking it is from the area above me. We will hammer into it and see. It's very nice looking mineralization. Here's your quartz with a little bit of oxidation and mineralization. So I'm going to take a little bit of a chunk of this stuff up here off so you got a decent amount of calcopyrite Let's get some more. So I'll just show a few of the samples I pulled off from that top part. Calcopyrite and pyrite. Got some malachite staining. So these are some really really nicely mineralized samples and this is the first one I showed the grab sample from just below so I took a sample of this quartz vein as well and as well as a quartz vein that's above this slough rock right back in here. That's the massive calco pyrite showing. So here is a sample from the quartz vein and you can see it has disseminated calco pyrite. There's mineralization disseminated in the quartz vein, which pretty much comes right to here, hidden under this overburden. There's patches of massive calcopyrite. Just up here, seeing something really interesting too. More oxidation. So let's hammer a uh, sample off of this. So, this right here is what dreams are made of. Massive calcopyrite taken off right here. Let's get some more. Okay, so we are pulling off some gorgeous, gorgeous samples. Massive calcopyrite all through it here. Take a look at that.
more samples here. Looks like there's some pyrotite in here as well. Mostly what I'm seeing is massive calcopyrite though. Over another four or five meters. Take a look at this. More mineralization. Got malachite staining on pretty much all the rocks in here. And you have more calcopyrite. See all the calcopyrite dust and the massive calcopyrite. Ooh, gorgeous. Got a few samples here. This stuff is amazing. Lots and lots of very, very massive calcopyrite. This exposure is about 40 meters wide. We've taken four giant samples. There's quite a few of these smaller areas too where you got little bits of solid calcopyrite. They seem to be formed in the fractures there. Some quartz. So even the host rock here is mineralized. There's quartz in there, there's epidote. It's a very silicous host rock. And you got uh, patches of calcopyrite, pyrite, and pyrotite. And that sample was taken just from right here. You can see mineral there. All this right here. Pulling hunks of calcopyrite off those areas where it's a little bit darker. More here, there's some quartz and epidote. Again, there. Not 50 meters further. We have another massive vein of pyrite and calcopyrite. Some quartz in this. Just a couple of samples I found laying on the ground. All this right here is mineralization. Continuing up there. From that little showing there. Massive mineralization. This area is loaded with mineralization. Another sample from the vein. Massive calco pyrite and pyrite.